we need to think very much about the structure of not simply uh, whether we cut spending, but how we cut spending. Right now, if you look at what's happened so far, the most significant spending cuts have all been on the discretionary side. Some of those have been in defense. A significant amount have been in domestic discretionary spending. Now, that's kind of boring, domestic discretionary spending. You can sometimes refer to it as NDD for non-domestic discretionary spending or non-security spending when you define the other half as being security as opposed to defense and non-defense. Uh, very important for those of you who are in the international side because it shifts sides. So it's all very boring, and it all seems a bit like a kind of undefined amount of, 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 uh, of resources. Therefore, it seems easier to cut. We have already reduced discretionary spending, non-defense, domestic discretionary spending, is now on a path that by fiscal year 2015 or fiscal year 2016, it will be the lowest as a percentage of our economy since the Eisenhower administration. Truthfully, just since the record started. They just started in 62. So we know it's the lowest since the Eisenhower administration. Uh, that's a lot. And, uh, um, and I think that, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, it's, it's been necessary as part of what you have to do when you inherit a $1 trillion deficit. Uh, but I want to make clear, you cannot be somebody, you cannot profess to be somebody who cares about uh, early childhood or Pell Grants or low-income housing programs for the poor and be for continuing deep cuts in non-defense discretionary spending. You can't, and you can't be for those things and decide you're not interested in that, that that is some boring, wonky thing that people like Gene Sperling are burdened in life to have to deal with. You need to care, because let me tell you something. Those numbers are tight now. They are very tight. And at some point, you start just trading off between whether you want a nutrition program or you want biomedical research or you want early childhood. And that's not a good place to be. But when you keep lowering those caps so deeply, if you were to cut discretionary spending domestic another 20% as the House Republican budget would be, you would make it impossible to have progress in many of those programs. And remember, some of these, you have to have more funds in just to keep up with inflation. In other words, if you don't have an inflation increase in Head Start, you drop kids off. You can't even have the comfort that you're just keeping things the same. 